In Final Cut Pro, you don't really have grid lines or guidelines like you have in um, DaVinci Resolve, for example. Now, a lot of people have made their own little plugins that you can easily install that give you grid lines in Final Cut Pro. However, I'm not a big fan of those because whenever Final Cut Pro has a major update, you lose all of your custom installed plugins, the text, titles, etc. It's not a big deal, but you have to constantly pop them back into the right folder after every update. So I reckon you don't really need grid lines or guidelines in Final Cut Pro. So let me show you what I mean. Let's get this view here a little bit slanted. Now, okay, that's a little much, but it'll do the trick. So once you have your clip in the timeline in Final Cut Pro, all you want to do is just select the clip, head over to view the horizon. From there, it's typically fairly easy to just go ahead and use the rotation slider under the transform options left and right um, to uh, adjust your clip to make it more um, level. Now, once you've done that, you probably want to zoom in um, just a little bit to make sure that you don't have any edges that uh, resulted out of the rotation. So now this looks much better. So now you might say, yeah, this is all, this is all great, but you're not always going to have like your horizon line of your clip in the middle of the clip. So then it can be really hard to actually make sure that it's really perfectly level. It doesn't need to be exactly in the middle because the rotation point of your clip always stays centered. So let me show you what I mean. In this example, I have got a little drone clip here of the San Francisco skyline during sunset and it looks absolutely gorgeous. However, I can tell just from looking at it that the left side of um, the image is shorter than the right side of the image. Even though there are some mountains here, it's clearly a little bit slanted. I don't know how that happened because drones have a gimbal, but hey, this stuff happens, okay? So um, all you want to do is, again, turn on the horizon. And then from here, what you can do is just scale all the way in as much as you want. You're not going to render it like this, but now you have the ability to just move your video up and down, right? So here you can clearly tell, even if I zoom in much more, you can tell that this is not level, right? So if you look at the bridge back there, that doesn't look quite right. So from here, you can then adjust it. And as I said before, the rotation point stays centered on the image. So even though I'm rotating now the top part of the image, that doesn't quite matter um, because the center of the image is still the point of rotation. So in this case, I've rotated it by just about 0 0.8. I think that looks pretty good. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to do this quite accurate with your mouse. So then you can also type in um, a manual value here. And I think 1.0 actually looks better than the 0 0.8. So if we now zoom back out again and this back to zero, that looks much better. But now you have these corners here and you can see that my background is white. I find that it makes it a lot easier to um, work with. So just to make it white in, in case yours isn't, um, just go to your settings just by going to um, your uh, Final Cut Pro options up there and then uh, preferences or just hit command comma on the keyboard, head over to playback and then you see player background. So again, I have mine as white because here black on black it is really hard to see. Put it as white or checkerboard then you can easily see um, that you now are missing a little bit of um, the corners here. So in this case, all you want to do is just zoom in like maybe 3% and you've easily leveled out your clips without the need for extra grid line or guideline plugins in Final Cut Pro. If you found this helpful whatsoever and you want other video editing tutorials or drone flying tutorials for that matter, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.